Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. It's Sarah Elizabeth here and I'm back at it again with another video. So in today's video, we are going to be installing some Yaki clip-ins. It's so easy for everyone, for beginners, for you know, experts, whatever the case may be, it's for you, it's so easy. Clip-in time, it took me less than six minutes to put in these clip-ins and then styling it with, with the curling wand, what, 10 minutes? So this is a super quick, super easy tutorial and how I blend my yaki hair with my natural, um, my natural silk pressed hair. Super easy. I'm so glad, so happy to show you guys this tutorial and so glad I can bring something like this to you guys. So before we get into this video, be sure to like, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe. Of course, you don't have to, but you know, it'll be kind of cool if you do. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into this tutorial. Okay, y'all, so I'm starting off with week old hair. So my hair is not fresh. I feel like this is the best way to go about blending yaki hair with your natural hair. If your hair is straightened or pressed out, um, if it is just blow dried out, then it's a little bit easier, you know, you could just do it right off the bat. But yeah, so freshly or not freshly washed because <laughs> this is not freshly washed. I need to get it done ASAP. But anyway, so today's video is brought to you by Sassina Hair. And they were so kind to send me some um, clip-ins and this is the Yaki Straight. 20 inch hair um i have um used their product before and i liked their clip-ins so i'm excited to see how the yaki version is of their clip-ins are i think this is 20 inch hair so <clears throat> when you open the package you get the hair right here so it actually looks like one bundle it's funny because it looks like one bundle, but trust me, it's gonna be enough for a full look. And then you also get a comb, which is so cute. I love um, wide tooth combs. Oh, a little focus. So yeah, like this. And then you come, come with the clip and more clip-ins just in case, you know one falls off of a you know something like that you can always replace it and then super nice because it comes with instructions on how to maintain the hair so that you can have you know longevity with the hair because i know when i purchase hair i like to you know keep it up keep it uh revived so that it does last for a long time and i'm not just wasting money buying hair after hair so yeah that's super cool um that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh. I'm a little nervous because this hair is lighter than my hair, my natural hair. Excuse me, guys. Um, my natural hair is jet black. Like, it's a one. It's jet black. This is my natural color. Never dyed it, never anything. Um, and this is a 1B. So, that's why... Kind of nervous to see and that's why we're going to curl it as well to kind of get it to blend a little bit more but this is the hair um it is pretty bouncy super nice sorry y'all i'm filming with my phone so i'm continually so i'm like constantly looking at myself so apologies in advance okay so this hair comes with um three two whiffs, one four whiffs, two three whiffs, and then one single clip. Um, I'm gonna attempt to use all of them. I usually am good about using all of them, but sometimes I don't like to. It just depends on what, how much of a fullness look that I wanna go for. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying these and then Come back to y'all afterwards. I'm just gonna fast forward because y'all know how I put in my clip ends already.
Okay, y'all, so as you see, it literally took me no time to put these clip-ins in. I'm, uh, with, <laughs> with practice, you get pretty quick at doing it, but they're so easy to do that even on your first try, it will take you no time, like literally less than 15, 10 minutes to get, a, get them in. Um, I think that took me under six minutes. I think I was like at five minutes. I don't know, something around that. But yeah, that just shows how easy clip-ins are and why <clears throat> I love them so much. I mean, like, I love clip-ins. They're, they're for me. I'm for them. So. <laughs> but um, okay, so now I'm just going to try to curl this hair, see how it's going to work, see how it's going to go, just to further the blend process. Because right now, you can still see there's a little bit of a, you know, you could still see like where my hair is, where the hair start, where my hair stops and blah, blah. You can still see that it's not all the way blended. So in order to fix that, um, I'm gonna take my curling wand, which is like this. This I got, this is um Remington curling, curling wand. I got this from Target, I think. And then I'm also going to take my Irresistible Me Diamond um, straightener that they sent me as well. Oh my gosh, shout out to them because I love this straightener with all of my clip-ins that I receive. Um, this works super well with them and I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, since I don't know how this hair is going to react to heat yet, I'm going to put it on the low setting on here. So it goes all the way up to 30 in increments of 5. So I put it on 5. I should actually put it in between low and 5. Okay, so I turned it down just a notch just because I want to make sure that I don't, I don't have any burning or anything on the hair. So I'm just going to take literally small sections and then just go about it. So this section is pretty small. I'm not going to leave it on for too much just because I don't want a lot of heat on my hair or the kangaroo on here. Literally just put it on and then change it. So yeah. that worked really well like as you saw i didn't it's on the low setting um i didn't hold it on there for any time at all really and it curled just fine so that's good to know And I just like to hold it at the end just so that the curl can hold a little bit for me a little bit better. I wish I knew how to curl using um, <clears throat> the curling wand, the other one, I meant the clamp, the curling clamp, I don't know <laughs> what you call it, but it's just so hard, I never learned how to do it. I know how to do it on a straightener, which is funny, so I would imagine that the, the curling iron would be a little bit similar, but I don't know, it's been hard. And I haven't tried it in a long time, so maybe I should give it another try. Hold it. And then, of course, you can um, spray your hair, you know, with some spray, some hairspray. But since I'm not going anywhere and I don't want any product buildup, I'm not going to put on any today. 
and I'm kind of curious to see how it will hold without using any product as well so And I'm not a professional. <laughs> I just know how to make it look good, if that makes sense. When it comes to different techniques and whatnot, I'm just, I just do what works, you know? Sorry my quick squeaky chair, but it is what it is. And also you can alternate between, you know, um, the way you curl the hair, but I don't really care for a lot of volume, volume right now. And it's extra work going <laughs> both ways. So I'm just going to stick to going one way. But when I get to the front, I do like to curl it so that it like falls in my face. So towards my hair, towards my face, I mean. This is such a quick and easy hairstyle to do. And I think it's just so convenient for, you know, people that don't know how to do their hair or or not even that or people who can't like you know afford to get it done all the time or go to these stylists that are charging like crazy amounts of money now um i think this is like the perfect solution to just get you some clip-ins straighten your hair curl it whatever the case may be whatever looks good whatever you find looks good on you and just do it yourself girl save you some coins and especially during this pandemic. It's perfect. Just so perfect. And then for the front, of course, like I said, I like to curl it towards the face so that it falls. Did that so ugly. I know I did. And then go back and straighten or curl any like straight pieces. I'm gonna go back at the end and get all those. I just wanna get somewhere. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back once I finish um, this side. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. That I did on this side to this side and y'all know how long one side takes it's gonna take the same amount of time so or you could do your little side do you know all of the above and then do your edges like it's a look it's a look i love this hair and um honestly you can't really even tell that it's full on yaki like you can't even tell but let me fix this side right here because i don't care what's going on honestly
So here you have it. I think I'm gonna do like a side part because that's what I'm feeling with this one. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Um, of course you can style it a little bit better than I did, um, but this was like a quick little do and I love it. I love that you can get like affordable clip-ins for I love that you I love that it's so easy to get affordable clip-ins online these days because like I said everyone can afford you know going to um, a salon or a stylist in 2020 during this pandemic right now and it's just super easy to just do it yourself and you know get the look by yourself be your own stylist so um definitely if you have any questions on how to install your clip ends or like need any tips or like <laughs> whatnot you know while you're doing it just let me know dm me or comment down below in the comments and i i'm usually quick about you know replying to people or replying to questions that legit you know need an answer because <laughs> i know how it is sometimes you just need like that quick response um so yeah i'm here for you guys um like i always say but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this super quick tutorial. Um, I had little to no shedding. I forgot to mention that. And I give this hair out of 10. I give this hair a 10 out of 10 because, because it curled so nicely. It blends so nicely. And the fact that this is 1B hair and my hair is a 1. My natural hair is a 1 in color. And it blended so well with, you know, curling it and just styling it. I give it a 10 out of 10 because the curls are holding and I put nothing. This one I just didn't curl right. But then I put no product in it. So, and I can already tell it's going to hold for a minute. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.